So right by the Red Bull facilities, there's a wild cherry tree. And a boat hook comes in really handy for reaching some cherries. Bit of a result. I like cherries. So we're leaving the Red Bull service facilities point on the Trent and Mersey where we've been for over a week because one of the locks further up, number, lock number 57, has been broken. Start of a new day, let's see what it brings. So it's the first lock of the day, um, lock number 44. And the lock that was broken was 57, so we've got a few to do to get there. I'm expecting there to be lots of boats because there were loads of them stacked up on the other side of it while it was broken, and obviously loads of them on this side while it was broken. I think it took in total two weeks to fix this lock, so some people have been held up for a couple of weeks. See at the next lot. So this section of locks is called Heartbreak Hill. <coughs> I guess because there's so many of them. Very smelly farm we're going past, full of countryside fresh air. Mind your head, that last section of the bridge drops down in five. If you weren't paying attention, that could be really nasty. So, this section really narrow. It's definitely only one way traffic if you've got a block it on a bend, it's literally on a bend. So once upon a time there were two locks here side by side but um, one of them is now in disuse and has long since been taken over by nature. And that's the approach to it there on the left hand side and you can see all the uh, trees and bushes that have grown up in what was the lock. So lock 47 and 48, part of the flight they call the Heartbreak Hill. Danger keep off signs over there for the long abandoned lock. And that's the old lock gates from the other end. And you can see the lock chamber down there. And the same on lock number 48. There's a disused lock next door to the, the one that's currently in use and in the far distance I can see Canal and River Trust vehicles they're doing something down there well it's nearly down now it's a deep lock this one slimy side so I have to be careful not to get it all over my clothes when I scale down that ladder Nice countryside surrounding it though. Thing with this lock, you need to be careful not to fall off the lock platform. It's a long old drop down there. 
So that's just coming out of the top lock and the view dead in front to this lock number 48 that we're just about to go into. 1895 is uh, on one of the stones in this lock so well over a hundred years ago it was um, reconfigured so that's between lock 47 and 48 in the pound waiting to go into nice bit of scenery around here uh, waiting to go into lock 48 and there's the disused one side by side still with the lock gates there Thank you. Very interesting. Big I'll give you about the week for you, that's what I'm saying. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I've got through. I said, I didn't tell Well, there's lots of activity here. I think it must be dredging the approach to the lot there that we've just squeezed by all the workmen. Uh, Canal and River Trust making life better by water. Uh, 
and we're definitely on, up on a hill. useful so this is Lawton Lots part of the uh, so-called Heartbreak Hill flight it is an interesting flight system in many places is in a bad state of repair and as a good example one of the ground, ground paddles <coughs> on the Lawton locks is completely out of use they've reported the fault but it's probably been there for a very long time this is a stretch of canal directly after the uh, Locks would just pass through. There's a bit of a stretch now before the next lock, so it gives you a chance for a breather. The sun's come out now, it's a nice day, nice and warm. No rain. Just pleasant rural countryside. So this is a small aqueduct we're going over. The canal is higher than the surrounding rooftop. And it's quite a nice vista over there. So bridge 138A, which carries a road, <coughs> wouldn't have been there in the beginning. is on a tight right hand turn. A 
there's a branch across the canal so I can't keep it as tight as I'd really like to. And indeed, here it does come about rather than me on the bend. Trust yard where they've got various pieces of equipment stacked up. And now in River Tress, making life better by water. I have to say it make my life a whole lot better if they just fix some of these lock gates. Interesting display on the back of this boat. I don't know what she don't hit the window going past that. There must be some sort of trader because he's got a sign on the boat saying walking sticks from ten pound. That's like buying a new pair of legs, isn't it? Road Heath Thurlwood. It's a nice canal side cottages there. So this is Road Heath. old cottages right next to the canal at lot 54 as well wow hive of activity oh, there's a wonderful old thatched cottage in there lovely would have been a time when it had been out in the middle of nowhere all by itself. Well, there's another one bites the dust. You can lease it and there's a refurbishment planned. Brave man take on a pub business these days. Fancy Chinese? Bargain booze, I wonder. Well, that's a good deal on the side of the Westerns. Was Miller's Wharf on the canal side is now a modern housing estate. It's all nicely kept. That's the Broughton Arms, 
from the main roadside. Good time starting our beer garden. Unfortunately, I've just bought three bottles of ciders from Bargain Booze, so my good times will start on Popchivers. Post office just across the road from the Broughton Arms. Oh, you can see the boat just moored up there with another boat just passing by it. Road Heath Rise was once an important salt works and a hive of industrial activity. I'll put a link in the description. It looks like there's some really nice walks around this area. It's a decent place to moor up. Oh, this is a classic example of when a canal is higher than the surrounding landscape. The amount of earth they must have moved to do this. Well, here comes a magnificent working boat. They've just got so much character, haven't they? The bow sits high in the water. And it's just gliding through. Lovely old boat. Yeah. 